Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Good morning guys How are you today? Good? Good Alhamdulillah Nice to see you again guys Okay, before we start our lesson today Let's open by reciting Basmalah together Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Which by the dua will be able to understand the lesson well today, okay? Okay, students, uh, before we move to the real lesson today, I have a question. I have a little question before we start. Okay, the question is, on the question are, uh, on the next holiday, what will you do? Apa yang akan kalian lakukan ketika liburan selanjutnya? And then, where are you going to travel on your next vacation? Kalian akan pergi ke mana? Atau kalian mau pergi kemana ketika liburan selanjutnya Kemudian What are you going to do after school today? Okay, you can answer guys Yes, on the next holiday You are going to Bali And then, what else? Yes, you will You will play games After school today What else? Yes, you are going to travel to Sumatra on the next vacation. Good. Yes, all of you correct, guys. So based on what I what I have asked you before, does anyone know what I just asked you? Can you all guess what we going to learn today? Yes, I asked you about. Uh, a plan or an intention sebuah rencana atau sebuah keinginan ya yeah? so you can look at the picture on the slides there are a dialect between a girl and a boy hey you look so serious what's up oh i will have a great plan what is it about i am going to hold a birthday party in my house next week nah itu rencananya ya yeah? Then wow sounds great, really, blah 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 blah. Our friend would rather come to the party. I would like to invite all of my classmates. Nah, itu semua bagian dari rencana atau harapan atau keinginan ya. So, without us realizing it, we have often make a statement or say our plans or intention to others in Indonesian. Kita sebenarnya tanpa kita sadari, kita itu sering Uh, mengutarakan atau mengucapkan atau mengekspresikan suatu uh, rencana atau suatu keinginan atau suatu harapan saat kita uh, berkomunikasi dengan teman kita tapi akan tetapi dalam bahasa Indonesia but today we will learn it in English okay okay so best uh, on what I have asked you before we are today we are going to Uh, learn about plans and intentions. So today we are going to learn about the expression of making plans and intentions Such as going to there are going to would like to etc. And there is also uh, the simple future tense, okay? Okay, now we will move to the real lesson, okay? So the expression of making plans or intentions It includes an expression that has never happened because this expression is still in the form of a plan or intention. Okay, jadi uh, the expression of making plans or intention ini uh, tergolong dalam ekspresi yang belum terjadi karena ekspresi ini masih dalam bentuk sebuah rencana atau uh, harapan ya atau keinginan. To express an intention, the simple future tense is usually used. Nah, jadi pakai simple future tense, ya. Yeah. Kemudian expressing intention is an expression that is used to state plans or something intended to do in future. Jadi singkatnya, uh, expressing intention itu adalah sebuah mm, ekspresi yang digunakan untuk To state uh, rencana atau sesuatu yang berkaitan dengan masa depan 
Okay. Okay. Now we move to the example of making a plan or intentions. Yeah. Jadi di sana di slide-nya ada beberapa contoh dari making a plans or intentions. First one is what are you going to do of what are you going to do this weekend? What will you do tomorrow? Are you going to Bandung? Will you come to my house? There is no milk. I'll buy some when I go to the shops. I'm going to go to the supermarket after work. What do we need? Nah, jadi itu ya beberapa contoh dari uh, plans or making plans or intentions ya. Yeah? Uh, there are two kind of expression of making plan or intentions in this example. The first one is going to, ada going to, kemudian ada will ya, yeah? ada dua macam dari contoh ini. You can take a look from the first example, what are you going to do this weekend? Apa yang akan kamu lakukan uh, akhir minggu ini atau akhir weekend ini? Nah, you can look at the example. There is a sentence or word going to. Nah, ini adalah salah satu ciri-ciri uh, plans or intentions ya. Uh, susunannya, susunannya pakai Uh, simple future tense Yang pertama karena ini interogatif Yang didahului adalah To be To be nya adalah Ya, yeah, yes, are And then the subject Yes, you And then what else Going to Ya, yeah, benar Jadi ada uh, to be Kemudian ada subject Kemudian ada going to, kemudian ada object atau complement, ya. Nah, kemudian ada will. Nah, there is also will. Will you come to my house? Nah, kan itu karena intro interogatif yang didulis adalah will, and then subject, and then the verb one. Okay, the verb one. Now we move to the example of expressing intention. Nah, jadi ada beberapa mas e, ciri-ciri atau kalimat yang mana menunjukkan ekspresi dari e, sebuah rencana atau keinginan atau harapan ya. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight example that we need to know today. There are I would like to, and then I will, I want to, I am going to, I would rather, I hope to, I am planning to. Nah, jadi itu ya beberapa contoh dari ekspresi yang menunjukkan sebuah harapan atau rencana atau keinginan di masa depan. Okay, now we move to the language features of expressing plan or intention. Yeah. Uh, you can look at the slide. There are the lang. There is the language features. There is expressi of uh, plan or intention. Yeah. Uh, the language features that is used uh, in making a plan or intention is future tense. Yeah. Kenapa? Karena, ya, karena menunjukkan masa yang akan datang. Yeah. Karena ini adalah sebuah bentuk dari rencana atau keinginan atau harapan yang mana belum terjadi pada masa kini that that is uh, not happened yet now but it will be happen on the future ya yeah. uh, saya yakin kalian masih ingat the pattern of simple future tense yang pertama kalau menggunakan will itu the pattern will be Subject plus will plus verb one atau kata kerja pertama plus object atau complement ya. Kemudian kalau nya pakai going to the pattern will be subject plus to be is am are and then plus going to and then plus infinitive atau verb one ya. Verb satu. Nah, you can look at the Bottom of the patterns, there there are the examples. The first one is using will. She will visit her cousins on the next holiday. 
and then the second one is using going to she is going to visit her cousins on the next holiday nah kita cocokkan dengan patternnya ya uh, yang pertama kalau punya pakai will the subject is she and then the and then there is will and then the first one is yes visit and the object is the next ya yeah? yang belakangnya kemudian ada kalau nya pakai going to the patterns is subject is she and then the to be using is and then there is going to and then the verb one or the infinitive is visit yeah now uh, it's time to evaluate your understanding about today lesson okay i will divide you into two groups the first group will be barkia and sofa and then the second group will be angi and novi okay guys okay good so your task is performing this dialect for me then if you have performed it find temukan uh, the expression of making plans or intention and also the language features in the dialect you have read okay pertama adalah tugasnya mencari ekspresi kemudian menganalyze the language features okay for the first group you may read the dialect okay okay good perform good performance from group one okay now please find the expression and then analyze the language features okay yes that is right there is only one expression ya yeah? itu yes yang bagian i am planning to spend my holiday at my hometown ya yeah? Now please analyze the uh, the expression. Yes, using planning to. Now please uh, tell me the pattern. Yes, I sebagai ya yeah, subject. Kemudian M sebagai to be yes. And then there is planning to. Kemudian verb one nya. Yes, verb one nya spend ya yeah, menghabiskan. Nah. Okay, good job from group one, ya. Yeah. Now we move to the second group. Uh, please read the dialect and then find the expression and the language features, okay? Okay, good from group two. You perform it very well, also, yeah. Now please find the expression. Yes, there are five expression in this dialect. What? What are they? Yes, what are you going to do this weekend? I am going to visit my grandmother in Dakota. What else? Yes, I'd like to do them this evening. What else? Yes, I will go to your house at 4 p.m. What else? Yes, I will be waiting for you. Nah, jadi itu ya. Now, uh, what about the language features? Apa yang digunakan dalam dialog ini? Ya, yeah, ada dua going to and then what else? Yes, there is one I'd like to. Ada satu I'd like to and then yep, betul ada dua yang pakai will ya. Yeah. Good job. Also good job from the group too. Okay. Nice and very well everyone you answer all the question correctly. Now for the last, I want you to make a summary about today lesson. Type it and then send it to me via whatsapp group personally got it okay good okay guys before i close the class there is homework for you please make four sentences of the expression of making plans or intention and then don't forget to use the tense the future tense and mark the expression okay and the tense with bold okay now i will uh, I think uh, that's all. Wish you understand what we have learned today. If you have any question, don't hesitate to uh, chat me via WhatsApp. Okay? Don't forget to do your homework and always study hard anywhere and anytime. And then let's read Hamla together before I finish the class. Alhamdulillahirobbilalamin. 
Thank you everybody. See you next week. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.